What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar here with some more Smash for Wii U and I guess general Wii U modding uh, updates. Uh, so as you can tell by the title, we now have a public 5.5.2 exploit, uh, which means that you can run your mods on 5.5.2. Now just a bit of a disclaimer here, uh, the current uh, exploit that's out has a super super low success rate. Uh, the code still needs uh, a bit of polishing uh, so that it works 100% of the time. Uh, and as a result, it's not available on loadin.ovh yet, as normal. Um, this is going to take a little bit of uh, a finesse. It's going to be a little fickle to work with. Um, so if you aren't into that, I would recommend just waiting. Um, if you are into that, you can go ahead and check this video out. But I will be making a follow-up video once you can actually just use the browser exploit like you could on 5.5.1. Uh, so with all that said, let's go ahead and just uh, talk about it a bit. Um, I will have a link to uh, both of the things that I will be looking at in the description, of course. So uh, you can go ahead and look at those, peruse them at your own leisure as well. Um, so this site is basically where you're going to have to get it. Um, I'm pretty sure, this is GBA Temp, pretty sure the other site also links back to this. Uh, so this is where you'll get the exploit that will go onto your SD card. Um, the recommended way to do this is to load... Uh, hack sheet onto uh, your 5.5.2 machine using this method. You can, of course, load SD Caffeine and just go straight into Smash Mods uh, using this method. But like I said, it has a super low success rate. Uh, the guy who makes it says that uh, it's got about a 1 out of 10 success rate. So uh, it's going to basically take you, like, just, just to put that into perspective, uh, it'll take you probably 10 tries before... Um, you'll be able to get into your Smash Mods um, before you can do it. So basically, 10% chance that you'll be able to get into your Smash Mods uh, and do it. That's why they recommend using Hackshi, because once you get in, you can install Hackshi just fine. And then, um, I still have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way. Hackshi, Hackshi, I'm not sure. Um, but you'll have a, uh, uh, once you get in, you'll be able to load... Uh, and install Hackshi just fine, and then using Hackshi, you can just load into Smash Mods every time. So that's basically what this exploit is going for right now, is just to get Hackshi onto your Wii U, uh, and then from there you'll have a 100% success rate because Hackshi is just, you know, built for that. Um, so this uh, page shows you basically uh, the way to do that. You want to get a homebrew launcher on your SD card, um, prepare any other homebrew you want to use, uh, so then you want to find a uh, web host that's using this. There are several. Uh, any of these you can load into your browser and it will load the uh, the exploit for you. Uh, I think this is, yeah, down here it says this one is uh, hosting different versions that will update as it's, you know, getting improved. So I would recommend using u.drg.li um, just because I think that's one of the people who made it. Uh, personal one so it's updating as they update it updating to different uh, different versions as they release it um, and the reason I'm not showing you this on the Wii U is because I'm still on 5.5.1 and I've updated smash to 1.1.7 so I'm good to go I don't want to risk updating to 5.5.2 losing my stable ability to load mods uh, just to show you guys this um, I would rather keep 5.5.1 if I'm being honest, but if you're on 5.5.2, I would recommend doing this. If you're on 5.5.1, just chill on 5.5.1 because you're good to go. But if you are somehow updated to 5.5.2, whether you did it on accident or it was uh, automatic, um, I would recommend doing this. Um, so yeah, this is uh, basically what you want to do. You want to run the browser hack here, um, load into this. Uh, what, what the recommended thing is uh, to notice is if it freezes, shut down and try this step again. It's gonna freeze quite a lot. Uh, from what I've read, that's basically how it has a failure rate. Um, it'll freeze. Um, they do recommend that if you're, or they do uh, note that if your screen goes gray white but your console freezes, uh, you're picking the correct number. So on this page, let me see if I can actually open up this page here. Uh, yeah, okay. So on this page, this is what you see on your Wii U. Um, you basically will want to pick a different number. Um, so you want to make sure you have Homebrew Launcher 1.3 on your SD card or 1.4. Uh, but they recommend 1.3 um, as it has better consistency. 
Um, apparently, exploit number two is the large, uh, uh, or has the, the best success rate. So you can either click exploit or number two. I think both of those are the same link. Uh, or I guess they do the same thing. They aren't the same link, but they do the same thing. Um, and then from there, it's just trial and error. You just keep trying. Eventually, you'll get into uh, Homebrew Launcher, and then from there, you can boot up SD Caffeine. We'll go over that in a second, but that's basically the gist of it. From there, it'll get you into Homebrew Launcher, and then you can do the steps for installing Hatchy, or if you just want to do SD Caffeine, you can do that as well. Um, so let's talk about um, SD Caffeine, um, doing that on 5.5.2. If you plan on doing uh, the hacks chi, then I'm just going to assume that you know what to do. Uh, there are guides out there that will do this for you. Plenty on YouTube, plenty on uh, different forums and such. Um, but I know a lot of you will just be interested in doing this for Smash Mods. I don't know that you'll be interested in loading this, uh, or in totally modding your Wii. Or your Wii U. So this is a, uh, a guide written by uh Caruz from the smash 4 modding discord i apologize if i said your name wrong um and basically this just will tell you how to load mods on uh on 5.5.2 without having to do hacks or anything um, i will leave a link to this in the description because i know that it'll be easier to read and follow as you do it but i do want to explain a bit of it too um just because uh you know, I can give a little bit of insight. So, uh, the things you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need Smash Explorer 0 0.7 point, uh, or 0.07.2. You will only need this if you are building your mods. Um, if your mod pack is, uh, out and works on 5.5, or works on 1.1.7, I should say, um, then you should be good to go. I know that my current mod pack doesn't have 100% success rate because a couple of files are needed now. Um, I'm just gonna let that go because pretty soon I'll have a new mod pack out, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, but if you are building your own mod pack, you will need a couple of files. Uh, I would recommend going to the Smash 4 Mod Discord and uh, ask around, check that out. Um, but you will need 0 0.07.2 uh, just in case you are doing your own mod pack. Uh, you'll also need SD Caffeine version 1.3, there's a link to that here. There's a link to all of everything on this page. Um, and then finally, you will need Homebrew Launcher version 1.4 or 1.3. Uh, you can do either one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think the uh, the exploit actually recommends one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I was going crazy. But yeah, 1.3 is recommended. Uh, you can use 1.4 too. I'm pretty sure it would be forwards compatible like that. But uh, um, you can try one. If it's not seeming to work out, try and switch to the other one. So first what you want to do is put SD Caffeine and Homebrew Launcher on your SD card. That's as simple as putting a, a Wii U folder on your root, then putting an apps folder inside the Wii U folder, and then putting Homebrew Launcher and SD Caffeine on there. Uh, if I remember right, these should actually come pre-made um, to the point where you shouldn't have to even rename folders and add folders and stuff, you should just be able to drag it straight onto your SD card. Yeah, correct. So Wii U, apps, and then homebrew launcher. So that, that'll be good. And then the same thing for SD caffeine, that'll be all set up for you. So you basically just drag both into your SD card right onto the root. And then, uh, actually I can show you how it looks. Wii U, apps, and then you'll have homebrew launcher and SD caffeine. I've got an extra thing, but you just need these two in that folder. Uh, next, what you want to do is create a slash SD caffeine folder at the very root of your SD card. And there's a little diagram here, but I will show you what that should be like. SD caffeine, like that. And one F, two I's. Um, and this will only be necessary if you're using SD caffeine 1.1 through 1.3. Uh, if you're using an old version, then you just do what you normally do. But basically, this folder with all the numbers used to go onto the very root of your SD card. Now it's going to go inside of the SD Caffeine folder if you're on 1.1 through 1.3. And that's what this diagram shows here. Uh, the old one is SD card root and then title ID. That's the one with all the numbers. The new one is SD card root, SD Caffeine, and then title ID, which is the one through all the, with all the numbers. So uh, you'll need to know which one you're using. I reckon... I, I'm guessing that if you download from this site, then you're going to be needing this half, which is why he tells you that in the actual folder. But just in case, um, this is here for your convenience. 
Now, with that said, um, there's uh, a sub step three. Um, just basically tell you you need to use 0 0.7.2 uh, because it's just a, a better version. So now you're going to load back to this exploit site again. And he also recommends using number two. Apparently, that is the one with the highest success rate. Um, so I would recommend starting with that. Of course, if you're finding that number two will freeze a lot, then you can just uh, use other numbers. There's quite a few different versions that you can try. Um, and again, if you get the white slash gray screen, but it freezes, that is the correct number. It just failed to load the exploit. So keep trying with that number if you get the white or gray screen. Um, and then, of course, it recommends that if you if nothing's working, try with 1.3 uh, Homebrew Launcher. Then, uh, once Homebrew Launcher loads, just load the SD Caffeine app. Um, it should boot you back to the home menu. Then you can launch Smash, Smash and you will be good to go. Uh, also, on this page, it shows you how to update uh, your Smash 4 Explorer. And then also updates uh, how to... Um, how to block your DNS. And I super, super, super recommend everyone right this second block their DNS, whether they are on 5.5.1 or 5.5.2, because we don't want another surprise update. Surprise, we're gonna be on 5.5.3, and the new method is also blocked. So I would recommend following these steps if you are on 5.5.2 and have not yet set up a DNS blocker. Um, I would also recommend it if you're on 5.5.1, but I assume if you're on 5.5.1 that you've already blocked your DNS, but uh, if you haven't blocked your DNS, you don't know what that means, you don't know these words that are coming out of my mouth, just follow these instructions and this will prevent you from getting a surprise update in the future. Uh, with all that said, I know that was a bit scatterbrained as far as me explaining things, but uh, it's still relatively new. Once it gets more consistent, I'll probably update to 5.5.2 and show you how to do it. Um, but they're pretty; these are both pretty comprehensive guides. They don't really uh, deviate. They don't really assume that you need any kind of information beforehand. The only thing you might need uh, to find an extra guide on is how to install HackSheet. And actually, saying this now, in fact, I will just link you to a guide that tells you how to install HackSheet. Um, so all in one place all in one place uh but with all that said thank you for watching um i will try and answer your questions in the comments they seem to have answered pretty much every question you could have um in these guides here so i don't anticipate needing a lot of questions but i will be reading checking questions and if i know the answer i will let you know um other than that i would recommend going to the smash 4 modding discord uh, that's where you can answer, ask any question and you will get any kind of help. They've got people there uh, that will help you no matter what. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you all next time. Peace out, guys.